Now let's take a look at the new Animation Master Studio category. These animations are going to be really useful for logo in and out animations. So if I go down here and I hit the preview all, we can get a better look at all the different animation styles. And I can go to the left hand corner, pull this toggle and expand my thumbnail preview. I'm just going to stop that for a second. And we're just going to highlight over the animation we want. We want to make sure our marker, in this case, is on the beginning of our shot. We go to an in animation, double click, and we may just have to adjust it to snap right at the beginning here. Now we're going to animate out. So again, we're going to go to one of our out animation points. And in this case, I'm just going to shut the sound off. We're going to hit that little marker there. Double click. And again, you're just probably going to have to readjust it to fit at the edges. Now, in the case where I have broken up this logo into two parts, I have the effects and Premiere Pro. Now, in this case, there's a couple things I want to show you and mention. So the first thing is we can add our animation on top of our layers. And you can see once I do that, it's affecting everything. However, it's how this is stacked in our timeline. If I were to take one of these layers, place it above our effects layer shot, you can see now the effects logo is not being animated. But what happens when we want to animate these two parts differently? In this case, we have to nest the logo and the Premiere Pro title separately. So all you have to do is I'm going to highlight my first layer here, right click, nest. Once again, right click, and I'm going to nest the Premiere title now, label that. So now I have my effects logo and I have my Premiere title. I'm going to go inside my Premiere title. So now we're inside the nest. So now I can animate the in and out points of Premiere and only affect this particular uh, part of the logo. And now I'm just going to add a out animation point. Again, select whatever you want, double click. I'm just going to readjust this so it snaps. So now I have Premiere Pro title animating within the nest. So if I come back out to my main project now, you're going to see that that's just affecting the Premiere Pro title. Now I want to animate the effects titles. So for the logo itself, I'm going to go inside the effects logo and do the same thing. animate the in and out points of this effects logo. Again, you can double click and you just probably have to readjust as I stated before. If you have this situation where your animation is not working properly, it's only because the anchor point of your logo, of your title is not centered. And we can adjust this by highlighting the actual effects layer. Go to our effects control tab. You're going to see the transform. And this is our animation key points. And if I go to the anchor point and I start to readjust that anchor point, you can see here that it's starting to change that. So as I adjust the anchor point on this transform tool, I can now move it so that it's adjusted to animate the way it needs. So now that the anchor point for the transform is in the center, it's going to animate properly. So if I go back, now I have these two animations happening at the same time, and I'm going to just have to readjust. I'm going to highlight the actual logo nest, go to effects control, and just readjust the position. See this? What happened here is that I didn't roll the entire effects uh, layer over. So you just want to roll that over. Now that'll be fixed. 
And now we can add our out animation point. Again, just pick your out animation point. And here within the nest of the logo, I now have an animation in and out. So if I go back to the original, here we have both the Premiere Pro title and the FX logo animated separately. So again, to animate separately, you want to create a nest. So you have individual control over that layer. And remember, if for some reason you run into an issue where the animation is not doing exactly as it should based on the preview, it's going to be because of your anchor point. And you just want to readjust the anchor point. And this is only likely going to happen in the situation like I presented where I actually took my logo and cut it up into different parts. So normally, if you have a logo uh, that you've just brought into Illustrator or Photoshop, that center point's already going to be where it should be. But in this case, I just want to present this example. And uh, that's about it. So enjoy. Enjoy.